Hey friends, how's it going? My name is Ben and welcome to my channel. All right, for today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit more fun, a little bit more different. We're actually gonna be doing art. Well, a very loose interpretation of art. I'm gonna be doing something that's like a fabric, texture, plaster, Paris type thing. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. I have no idea. Okay, so I was at work the other week and I was scrolling through Instagram, as always, and I saw this person doing this thing where she took this like fabric dipped it into this plaster stuff that she made and then put it onto a canvas, let it dry. I'm not really sure, this is the first time I've ever seen it. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it a thousand times. First time I've ever seen it and I really, really, really want to do it. So that's what we're going to give a shot today. So these are the ingredients that she had listed. 55% spackle, 20% water, 15% plaster, and 10% wood glue. I don't know if these are right, but these are what I have. So we're just going to give it a shot. All right, so to start this off, we're just gonna go ahead and use a small canvas and a cut up t-shirt. I'm thinking that's gonna be good to start off with. If it goes well, I really wanna scale this up to really big because I have a really cool idea. And I, oh my God, how many more times can I say really? So I'm thinking something this small, a quarter of a gallon of that plaster mix should be enough. Okay, at a quarter of a gallon, I need 55% spackle. Huh? What's 55% of a quarter? If it's a quarter gallon, you... So we're actually gonna do 16 ounces of the plaster mix. Not because I couldn't figure out the math, because it's easier. Wait. Oh, I don't think this is right. This is nothing like what she showed. So this is really runny. I'm not sure if it's exactly, it's almost like a soup consistency. The forbidden soup. So it might be okay? I don't know. Here, check it out. See, it's like soup. Like blah, 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 blah. It is really runny. Let's see if I can get something on a stick. You know, my Super Stir 3000. Ugh. All right, so this is what's going on. Here's the mix. Just gonna go ahead, dunk this, I guess, in here. Oh, my confidence is through the roof. This is gonna turn out so cool. All right, ooh, that was just enough. All right, so we're just gonna take this. Um, I wonder if you were put, supposed to put some down first. I don't know. All right, so we're just gonna keep spreading this out just like this. Get it. Oh, it's so sticky. It's getting really sticky already. This might actually, I wonder if I could have to push it into the canvas maybe? I'm, uh, why can't I figure this out? All right, so I'm gonna leave it at this. I got it pretty tight around the edges here. Kind of wrinkly, I think I like it. I think, yeah, I think I do. Okay, so I just finished this up. It actually looks really cool. I think it's I think it's actually gonna turn out really cool if it dries correctly and sticks to the canvas. That's the only thing I'm worried about is if it's actually gonna to stick to the canvas. 
but we'll have to see. So in that time, I'm just gonna have to clean up because if you saw the plaster just kind of exploded everywhere when I opened it up. So that was a super smart thing to do. And then I just swept it onto the floor because that was intelligent. So I will just see you guys in about 24 hours. So it worked and it looks amazing. Here it is. This is rock hard, but it did take 48 hours. It definitely took a lot longer to dry than I thought it would, but it is completely stuck to the canvas. I mean, there are some edges where it wasn't fully touching, but like where it was, fully stuck to it. Oh God, my knees. All right, so here's the next step. This is what we're gonna go with. It's pretty huge. What I envision and what I wanna do is basically I wanna do a tree. I wanna make all the branches coming down, funnel down this way so I could take pour paint. And what I wanna do is pour the paint down let them run down the branches and hopefully they're all gonna merge. That's the idea. Now, for the plaster recipe, I still don't understand the recipe. I don't understand why it is mixed that way. I don't understand why the ingredients are in there. Maybe someone can leave that in the comments. But one thing I am gonna change, instead of wood glue, I'm gonna use CLA. I don't particularly know why I'm gonna use this. There's no rhyme or reason. I, it's just I have almost a full gallon of it just sitting here. I'm not using it. So I'm gonna use that instead. So one more thing, I am gonna build a white frame for this, a nice thick one, so it looks very bold. But what I wanna do is make a black border all the way around here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, paint around here black, and then put a piece of tape, about maybe one inch or three quarter inch piece of tape running the whole area. And then I'm gonna go over that with the plaster. So it should look really nice. It should be a full tree, a black border, and then a white frame. I'm gonna make two gallons of the spackle mix. That way I can put a thin layer down, soak the cloth in it, put the cloth on top of the canvas then, then form it. I got an idea. Sick forever. <laughs> oh shit! Woo! I'm gonna slow that down. Yes. thinner than what it was last time. But that's okay, we'll work with Losing it. time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface. So this little art project is gonna weigh like 15 pounds. So if you're planning on doing this, go small. This is probably not gonna be able to hang up on a wall. Also, I went much larger with my piece of cloth than what was needed, thinking I could just go ahead and cut off what I didn't. But the problem with that is such a mess that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cut it.
glasses. This turned out so much better than what I wanted it to. So much better. Look at all the texture. It's hard as a rock stuck to it. I could not be happier in how this turned out. The only thing we gotta do now is paint it. I wanted to do just the pour paint so it would run down the limbs. It didn't work out that way. I couldn't get channels in here as I did the best I could. So I don't know. We're just, I'm just gonna paint it and hopefully I don't screw it up. I'm actually super nervous about this because I put a lot of time into this and I don't wanna paint it and screw it up and make it look awful. But I'm just gonna try my best and see where how it goes. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. And damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good, you look great. I like you, I can't wait. A first time, a first day, you're so fine, I'm so late, you sip wine, I drink straight, don't waste time, to my place, I feel my heart erase, so catch me if I This is it. This is the final product. Literally, I, I couldn't be happier. There's only a very few amount of times where something's actually turned out better than what I ever originally. I thought this was just gonna be kind of like a fun joke, a fun video, watch me screw this up really bad. This, I, oh my gosh, I couldn't be happier. Let me know what you think. Also, if anyone knows what this, I think it's just plaster art, but I don't know if it's plaster art when you use the cloth behind it, but if anyone knows, please just put a comment. Let me know what kind this is. I still don't know. Um, oh, also remember the first one I did, the smaller one? This, I went black. Oh, that looks so good, doesn't it? I. Love it. It's kind of creepy. It's nice. I, th I just think it's beautiful. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like either of these, I should have them on my Etsy page, along with a bunch of other stuff you might like. I'll have that in a link in my description. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.